making plans for overthrowing the government of the democratically elected leader, uh, Mohammad Mossadegh. Can you talk about what the U.S. did in Iran then, so well known throughout Iran, but most people in this country have no idea? Early in the 20th century, the people of Iran began moving towards democracy. It was a very difficult struggle. It was back and forth. But finally, after the Second World War, democracy did emerge in Iran. It was the one parenthesis, the one period of real democracy that we've had in Iran uh, over the last uh, 100 years. So the problem came when the Iranians chose the wrong leader. They did something that the United States never likes. They chose a leader who wanted to put the interests of his own country ahead of the interests of the United States. And that uh, alarmed the West, and particularly the United States. Mossadegh's first move was to nationalize Iranian oil. We thought this would be a terrible example for the rest of the world. We didn't want to start this process going in other countries. So in order to set an example, the United States decided we would work with the British to overthrow the elected democratic government of Iran. We sent a senior CIA officer who worked in the basement of the American embassy in Iran, organizing the coup. The coup finally succeeded in the summer of 1953. Mossadegh was overthrown. And more important, the democratic system in Iran was destroyed forever. This was not just an attack on one person, but an attack on democracy. And the reason why we attacked that democracy is the democracy produced the wrong person. So we like elections and democratic processes, uh, but uh, they have to produce the candidates we like. Otherwise, our approval disappears.